Welcome to our service of Compline this Monday of Holy Week. I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxterley Group of Parishes. During Holy Week, we don't celebrate any saints at all, so we will just do Compline as it is written. So let us take a moment of quiet as I attempt to share my screen in the usual way. The words you see in bold are for you to join in with, should you wish to do so. Otherwise, just listen and enjoy. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Do we take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day, the past week? Bring our thoughts and concerns to the foot of the cross. We say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Do we listen to Tenebrae, and their version of Te Lucis and Te Terminum?
Our psalm this evening is Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. How deep are your counsels to me, O God, how great is the sum of them. If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening comes from the prophet Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 10. I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him, as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him, as one weeps over a firstborn. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Do we listen to Harper Day in their version of the Nunc Salva nos domine vigilantes, custodi nos dormientes, ut vigilemus cum Christo, et requiescamus in pace. Nunc dimiti servum tuum domine, Secundum verbum tuum in pace.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Let us pray for the church and for the world, to the Lord, the King of glory. As the church rejoiced in the triumphal entry of our Lord, grant to us also the spirit of repentance and sorrow for his suffering. May we at this holy time set forward the message of his salvation and lay our minds and wills before him as an offering of faith. Bring to a world that judges by outward signs of power the wisdom to discern where true power lies in humility and love. Open the eyes of the rulers of the nations to see the one true king and be ready to serve at his command. Give to us and to all those around us the vision of holiness in the daily scene of work and play. Help us to find in those we too easily take for granted the image of Christ the Lord and to honour one another as those who seek to follow in his way. Have mercy on the sick and suffering for whom the shadow of the cross is plainer at this time than the glory of the day and who call out not in triumph but in anguish. Lifting to you, Lord, all those who have asked for our prayers at this time. Give them relief in their affliction and the hope of new life. May the voices of those who bore witness to God in this world now be blended with the eternal praise of the angels in heaven. Praying especially for Michael Ayasami, Lillian Hunt, Richard Heath and Mary Turner. May theirs be the song of triumph over sin and death. We offer our prayers in the name of Christ who has come to save his people. Amen. And the collect. Almighty God, as we stand at the foot of the cross of your Son, help us to see and to know your love for us, so that in humility, love and joy, we may place at his feet all that we have and all that we are, through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. As we come to the ending of the day and standing at the foot of the cross, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and to make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May God bless us that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. concludes our service of Compline for this evening.
Monday of Holy Week. I wish you all a peaceful, quiet and safe night. Look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. In the meantime, take care. God bless.